Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Happy Friday, I'm Jen Ah. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. Tonight we're starting off with health news sponsored by 4M Dental, Love Your Smile Again. Looks like masks are back. Following in LA County's footsteps, Clark County health officials are now urging everyone to mask up in public spaces, even those who are vaccinated. Previously, Nevada and local authorities advised only those not vaccinated to wear masks in crowded settings. This change comes as COVID cases and hospitalizations spike in Nevada. This is a measure that directed to protect uh, all uh, individuals here in, in Clark County. Uh, the main target is, of course, the unvaccinated people because they are the ones who are at higher risk of, of transmission. Now, this is just a recommendation, not a mandate. But with these new changes, here's what people on the Strip had to say. Oh gosh, it's kind of a bitter pill to have to throw a mask on now. Everyone's wearing a mask. I'll throw it on even though I'm vaccinated, but no one's wearing it. I doubt my family and I will put one on. They should. They should wear the mask. We're almost there. The governor also confirmed the federal surge response teams are set to deploy this weekend. And if you're going out and about on the Strip this weekend and haven't gotten vaccinated yet, here's your chance. MGM is partnering with the state to kick off a prize-laden vaccine clinic, complete with live entertainment. Immunize Nevada says the clinic will go from 10 to 6 on Saturday. Now to other top stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at NevadaHand.org. A new coalition is set to fight the rise in deadly car crashes this year. Its target? Distracted driving. The Nevada Highway Patrol and Las Vegas Police are especially looking out for those speeding, driving while on their phones, and other dangerous behaviors. Another warning for drivers, keep an eye out for lane closures on the freeway that may impact your travel plans this weekend. Portions of U.S. Highway 95 will be shut down for a $40 million project. Starting Sunday night, the southbound lane between Boulder Highway and Twain Avenue will be closed. In other news tonight, making a difference for the Asian American community. Clark County is accepting applications for members of the Asian American Pacific Islanders Community Commission, which serves as a liaison between the local Asian American community and county lawmakers. If you're interested, head over to LBRJ.com for instructions on how to apply. The deadline is July 21st, 5 p.m. Now to your weather, sponsored by One Hour Air. No matter the season, no matter the reason, one hour's here for you. After a toasty day today, it looks like we're cooling down to the upper 80s tonight with perfectly clear skies. Then on Saturday, we might see some clouds roll in, expected to be partly cloudy on Sunday as we get ready for some more monsoon weather. Starting Sunday through most of next week, we should be getting some much-needed rain as well as a break from the triple-digit highs. Now to your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability. Studies show women are one of the hardest hit groups career-wise from the pandemic. Review Journal's Renee Summerauer explains why. Renee? Hey, Jen. Yeah, Kenya Mills, a social worker for the Clark County School District, said she sees the struggle women face through a Zoom screen as they take care of their families and search for the right job. Mills spent the school year watching mothers balance the need to provide both a paycheck and child care. Some workers who may want to return back to work still could be holding off because of how the new work schedule could disrupt other members in the household. It's something that Dress for Success of Southern Nevada leaders have seen in their clientele. The burden of caregiving is on women, and as women have been disproportionately impacted by the pandemic, child care has been a real big barrier to returning back to work. A June 14th report focusing on Nevada economy in April pointed out how black women, Hispanic women, and black men are still struggling. Here's the latest in sports. The NFL scouting combine will not be coming to Las Vegas anytime soon because the Raiders and the city found it would not be a major draw for visitors. Sports business reporter Mick Akers has more. Yeah, so Raiders president Mark Bedane and LVCVA CEO Steve Hill kind of discussed the possibility about bringing it, but the kind of time and the dates it's going to take up is, you know, pretty prime time for Allegiant Stadium. So they 
said, hey, this isn't going to fill it up. We can bring in a, you know, a concert or a one-off sporting event. It's going to you know, bring up to 65,000 people here. So, you know, just with that timing and they figured other markets might be a little bit better suited for that. They decided to skip out on this event and kind of looking ahead to hopefully landing that 2024 Super Bowl. Sports betting sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. With kickoff fast approaching, Alabama and Clemson are poised to dominate college football yet again. The two are tied for the highest regular season win total at BetMGM Sportsbook at 11 and a half each. Ohio State and Oklahoma are next with 11 wins apiece, and Georgia has 10 and a half. UNLV is at the bottom of the board, tied with Kansas and Louisiana Monroe for the lowest total at one and a half each. Now to your lifestyle news, sponsored by Oakmont of Las Vegas, assisted living and memory care. The best care for the best life. This guy is known for having his beast mode on. We open. We're of course talking about football running back Marshawn Lynch, who opened his new beast mode store on the strip this week, complete with champagne. His fans were in line hours before it opened. Big Raider fan, you know, seeing Beast Mode. Like I said, I'm only here so I don't get fined. <laughs> That's, of course, one of Marshawn Lynch's famous lines. Beast Mode also has locations in Oakland, California, and Seattle. Now to your entertainment news, sponsored by DiscoverYourNevada.com, brought to you by Travel Nevada. Looks like Usher's got us fallen in love again at Caesars Palace. Review Journal's John Katsimidis gives us the deets. Usher is known as a superstar recording artist and a great dancer, but he can also skate. We know this from some of the social media we've already seen ahead of his residency at the Coliseum at Caesars Palace. We're going to have a pole dance number, a big dance number to kick it off. It's going to be a loud and filled up Coliseum as Caesars Entertainment is back in the residency headliner game. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. If you have Amazon Fire TV, just search Review Journal to download our channel. You can watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here on Monday for more 7 at 7. Until then, hope you have a great weekend. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.